Hello everyone, are you excited to know what happened at the Battle of Titans? Be patient. Zeus fought against Cronus in Thessaly. Thessaly was a wide area stretching from Mount Olympus to the north of Spurtrust Valley. The fight went on for 10 years. Cronus' troop, led by Atlas, was powerful. Zeus was worried because he saw they couldn't win. The Cyclopes came up with an idea. They could make weapons to defeat Cronus. The Cyclopes was good at building architecture and making weapons because he had powerful strength. Long, long time ago, walls and buildings are made by stones. Builders must have firm muscles so they were able to carry the stones all day long. Look at the picture. Aren't these stones seem so heavy, right? A stone in the picture can weigh hundreds of kilograms. According to the ancient point, the Cyclopes built a Cyclopean wall. After the weapons are ready, Hayes got a mysterious helmet. It was called Cap of Invisibility or Ham of Hayes. It belonged to the god of the underworld. It was not an ordinary cap. It was a magic cap. Wearing this cap was like wearing invisibility cloak in Harry Potter. No one could see Hades after he put on the helmet. Athena, the goddess of wisdom, wisdom, also used this cap during the Trojan War. Poseidon got a trident. It was a three-pronged spear. In Latin, tri means three and dent means teeth. It could cause floods and control the ocean. One time, Poseidon used his trident to stroke a big rock. The rock split it into two and created a sea. Also, if he stroked the trident onto the earth, it could cause earthquakes. I wonder how much Poseidon hates Taiwan and Japan. Didn't he give us too much earthquakes? <laughs> and what about Zeus? He got a thunderbolt. It was also called the lightning bolt. It was a weapon of lightning that combined the power of sky. This weapon was very powerful. It could have power over skies and storms. It may destroy the earth. Unlike other weapons, Zeus was the only user of the thunderbolt. If you have read Percy Jackson's book or watched the movie, you will know this weapon. At first, the thunderbolt was stolen by someone, and Zeus was very angry. Everybody saw Percy Jackson stole it. Of course, he didn't. So, he and his friends were trying to find out the thunderbolt to prove they were innocent. Back to the story, Zeus and his followers went to Cronus' camp. Hades put on his helmet, so no one could see him. He walked into Cronus' camp and took their weapons away. Now, it was time to attack. And Cronus and his allies were shot. They fought against Zeus true without any weapons. At first, Poseidon couldn't beat his father Cronus alone by using his trident. But Zeus had his, had his thunderbolt. He threw the thunderbolt over again and again. Finally, Cronus was defeated. And Zeus and his followers won the Battle of Titans. After the battle, Cronus went far away and other titans was sent to Tartarus, the jail. It was in the center of the earth. Hecatonchoris, the hundred handy ones, would guard them. Don't you think the hundred handy ones was poor? He fought so hard and won the battle, and now he was sent back to the earth. Was it fair to him? At last, the titan's leader had to hold out the sky as a punishment. We should thank Atlas because he worked so hard to hold up the sky for us. After Zeus had had his better control of his power, he released some of the titans. Of course, Atlas was not released. If he was free, the sky would fall down. An island called Atlantis was named after him. After the war, Zeus shared the power with his brothers. Zeus became the God of the world as well as heaven. He was also known as the Sky Father because he controlled the justice. 
Hades became the god of the underworld, the realm of death. Because his realm was far from Olympus, so sometimes he was not considered to be one of the Olympians. Poseidon controlled the ocean, floods, and horses. The world was divided by the three brothers. There were twelve gods of Olympus live on Mount Olympus, the highest mountain in Greece. There are a family of gods. They con controlled the nature and gave new ideas to the humankind. They could do whatever they want as they pleased, unless Zeus and his followers and his brothers were called to intervene. Don't you think it is an interesting story? It told us a lot of information about the origin of gods. I hope you enjoyed the introduction to the origin of gods from the five of us. Thank you.